and Kaz Taylor in here oh, right now. I'm hanging out. Cheers, Kaz. How's it going, buddy? Hey, Kaz. How you doing? All right. I think I think we got live. Things are happening. Two map was it? Two maps in in one week. I believe. Oh boy. All right. YouTube has gone live. Let me double check here and make sure everything else is working well on my side. S Sassy has a question for us. If you guys want to hear. Oh, the questions already. We're starting yeah. that. Way. Yeah, yeah, and it's a question that I can take again. I guess I need to unban some words on my YouTube channel because <laughs> uh, I'm sure I've gotten a lot today. Oh, hey, we're starting hey, that off already. When's Millennial Farmers map coming out? <laughs> <laughs> Dash mining over here on his other channel now. <laughs> I've got a copy of that map I can send you. We, we, we all have it. <laughs> console players don't have it. That's the issue. Yeah, well, soon though. Well, this, now, shouldn't they? Isn't it out now? No. Oh. <laughs> they didn't release Millennial Farmer? No, no not yet. It, not it, yet. We're going to talk about it later on, though. Don't you worry. Still untested. All right. <laughs> I think we are all good. Everything is, we got all the things are happening, guys. All the things are happening. Hey, Let's go. Uh, where's my, there's a button here somewhere. Boom. Are we, are we, oh, oh, it was a person. We are live. We are <laughs> live. <laughs> Don't get excited. The one at the bottom is not going to do that. He's not going to just pop not up. Gonna you know? magically pop up. <laughs> no, I'm just going to magically pop up. Uh, welcome in, everybody. <laughs> we are watching the Farm Sim Show with, well, myself, um, oh, DJ, this side, DJ <laughs> Goham, of course. DJ Goham. Cheers, buddy. Uh, and well, we got a special guest down below. Nitro Dad is in the chat as well today. We're going to be talking with him about uh, new maps, possibly some old stuff, just general stuff. Nitro Dad ish, uh, as well as anything new farming sim related. Any questions you guys have, drop them in the chat, of course. Uh, if you are not familiar, if you haven't checked us out before, we do the show once a week on Fridays, typically, sometimes Saturdays, between one and one and two. It's been like two months since we did one of these on a Saturday. Yeah, well, it's. I think next week. I think I'm busy next week. So, anyways, uh, so check us out. Make sure you guys come and check us out. And of course, let me put the links up here. You guys got all all the links. You can check us out on Facebook, on Twitter, on Twitch, on YouTube, um, and of course, a link on mine. Oh, I gotta send you the link, DJ. You can find us on podcast form as well. If you guys I don't want to know about it. Nah, I don't want to know. Just send I'm me a check. <laughs> <laughs> like four cent. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to be talking with Nitro DJ. What else do you got to say? Anything to start us off? Yeah, I got a lot to talk about. Oh, boy, um, where's, the, uh, where's the intro button? All right, we got. We're going to talk about TNT modding. As people asking questions, we're going to dispel any rumors, false or true. Ever heard of a true rumor? Uh, yeah. or just a, or just a false rumor that's why it's always belt. true. You yeah. need a hashtag fact check. Hashtag <laughs> realism. Uh, we also, <laughs> we're also going to talk about the MM Millennial Farmer map, though we literally know nothing. But we are going to talk about it. We're just going to use the time. We got new mods from this week. We've got one mod that we needed an extra one. It's not new, but it's hype, and I found it this week. And so we're going to talk about some upcoming mods. And we have an exclusive from A2 Studio, something no one's ever seen before. And we Ooh. just we hadn't seen it until about 30 minutes ago. Um, Sweet. I'm yeah. excited. Are we going to do the worst intro in Farm Sim? Oh, best intro in Farm Sim. Let's go! I like that I can sing along with it now. I've gotten so used to it. It's awful, though. <laughs> So good. So good. Oh, uh, here's you guys. Welcome in. Oh, man. You guys are awesome. All right. Where, where do we want to start? I didn't even look at the show list. Where's the show list? Here somewhere. Oh, man. You know what? Why does it say um, interview at the top there? Is that supposed to say that? If you're looking at the oh, show. Oh, just some. That's a note for later. I may have also wrote that last week. Okay, that's what I wanted to make sure. I was trying to figure all that out. <laughs> Yo, we got Nitro Dev in the building today. What's up, dude? Oh, Nitro. Hello, it's gentlemen. Fun. Good to have you in here, buddy. I appreciate you coming and taking time out of your day. Uh, it's good to have you in here. You know what? And I need to confess, for those of you who are not, not aware, Nitro has made a couple of my personal favorite maps, Hazard County, Georgetown. And I got a little story to tell, actually, if you guys want to indulge me for a second. You just got to sit back and relax for a bit. <laughs> So Nitro, uh, you might have contacted me with Hazard County when it first came out. And I remember you talking to me like, you showed me some pictures. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? This is, this You're is a little doubtful. 
Yeah, you look like this is an interesting looking map. You know, he's got he's got a bunch of trees and it looks pretty. There's all these waterfalls. I'm like, all right. And then you started telling me a little bit about what the map was going to have on it. And to be honest, I thought it was a little bit overkill. Like you were pushing the envelope of things that were possible in Farm Sim. Uh, I didn't think you had, I mean, for a first map, I didn't think there's any chance you'd ever have a way of pulling it all together. And so I kind of brushed you off, man. I totally brushed you off, to be honest with you. I thought, yeah, whatever, but we'll see when it comes out. I, I'm not, I'm not going to hold any faith in this. It's not going to happen. And the, I wish I would have had my, my camera on for the time when I first logged into Hazard County, the very first shot, because for those who are not aware, Hazard County has a bit of an interesting starting point. It doesn't start like a normal map where you just start at a farm or anything like that. There's a whole thing. I highly suggest you guys go take a look. If you haven't done it before. I'm not going to spoil it. Go load into Hazard County because it's a little bit of a there's like a storyline to starting the farm and man it's so cool. Um, so I was blown I was completely blown away in the first like 15 minutes just exploring trying to figure that out and I think I'm I've become a bit of a fan girl ever since then. So uh, I'm so happy to have you on here, man. Cheers to you. Thank you so much for making some fantastic maps. I mean seriously, uh, it's so good to have you on here, brother. Thank you so much for thinking of me. <laughs> you know when I made Hazard it. I wish I had been able to do it from start from scratch because yep. I would have been able to um, really make it how I wanted to a little more rustic, a little more hazard County ish. Okay. But I started with an edit cause everybody recommends that, but I recommend not just oh, get really? in GE start with a blank map and just start going. I mean, it's not when you start with somebody else's stuff, you have to try and fit your idea into their idea or work around their problems. Like okay. um, the map I started with Hazard had um, the wrong weight files. Yep. And I was deep into Hazard before I even found out about it. And it was, you know, it took a little bit of work to get it fixed because it, you know, without it, you'll see those maps instantly when they've got the wrong weight files. Okay. Um, so you started with hazard with a, on a blank. It was, it was, a, it was kind of a blank slate, but wasn't, it wasn't, uh, I don't know. We talked to MRG a little bit about this, how he took like an area of a map of an actual like Google maps and laid it down and then figured out land around that. You don't do that at all with your maps. So that's, is that correct? Not now okay. uh, that was based on farms of Madison County okay. hazard was because he had, almost a one X size map over in the corner that he had left completely blank, just sitting in GE. So oh. I went in and made that vast forest over there. Oh, and then from okay. there, I started building off, built the big farms and, you know, built the stuff with the, the valleys and the mountains. And I basically built in between all his fields, raised the land or built canyons and left his fields in place. And that's what made it so hard because I, I, I really kind of learned a lot G doing it that way. But like with this new map, I literally just sat down one day, loaded the road pack and just started. And it was just a road floating in the air. And then you just start bringing the ground up and then just start shaping it. Wow. And you just, the ideas just start coming out and the, you know, you start with a vision but I don't have the scaling is weird. I love the dem maps. What those guys are doing with the, those dem maps is great because it's so realistic. But when I try to do that, you get this tiny little area from Google. It's just a small space. Yep. You can't realistically put cell points in. You can't realistically have an area that's believable. Um, it shrinks everything down, but then you start putting in fields and then they seem way too big. Um, you end up with fields that are scaled way out of shape or they're huge. You, you get out there and you start working. You're like, this is like a 20 acre field just took me like, you know, a day to do, you know, it's, it's just unrealistic. So <laughs> you have to be really careful and keep your fields the right size. So on this map, that was... I wanted smaller fields and realistic and like the people that hate space wasting maps are going to hate this one. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, you know, but there is so much farmland. I mean, and, you're not yeah. going to 
want for lack of space. Um, there's just four farms. And I left one whole side of a valley open for placeables. There's a big, vast, flat area, and then there's a whole bunch of fields that can be either flattened or built on. Are we talking about the, this? Is the new map you're talking about right now? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. So now with Georgetown too, I, that I started with a blank map. Just started with a flat map, but yep. that one I really wanted it, the, the topography to look like Georgetown, New York. Um, yep. Yep. And I will be updating Georgetown. I have found some. Oh really? Mistakes in it. It's you learn you learn hard and fast in this <laughs> game, man. <laughs> well, I think I mean that's been some of the um, I guess criticisms is that you tend to tax people's computers a lot with your maps for the most part, right? I mean, you build a very detailed area. It sounds I know Georgetown was even a struggle for me. I found there was we're down under thirty frames per second in a lot of the uh, higher okay, so areas for sure. And I know you what it is here. I'll let you in. Okay, yep. everybody, you ready? <laughs> Just, Here's Nitro going. Dad's big secret. Yep. When you build transform groups, so like a model, it's put into a transform group. And I hate, know people hate details, but you build a transform group and everything goes into it so that the model's all one piece. As soon as you do that in GE, it sets the clip distance to 100,000 meters instantly. Okay. And then... If you don't fix that group before you save down, it sets everything in the group to 100,000. If you go into Georgetown, everything in the map is 100,000 clip distance. Yep. Every sidewalk, every parking line, yep. everything is set to these massive clip distances. And it's just because I didn't realize that that's what GE did. I thought the clip distances from the original buildings would hold once I built the new models. And that was where I went wrong. And that's part of the problem with this community. That was, you know, my criticisms of giants is just the, if they could give better tutorials or a better community for contacting for modders, I mean, Everybody says this community and this game survives on modding, but then sometimes you find modders willing to help each other, but not willing to help fully. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. kind of like <laughs> hold <laughs> back. A lot, yes. You know what I mean? Just enough like, oh, yeah, did you know you can do this, but not really tell you how? You know, and it, and it can be difficult so there does I mean, seem to be a little bit of uh, of that within the modding community for sure hopefully we can work on that as time goes on um i, I know i got a question actually for you dj you're probably gonna hate this part um hit me hit me with your best shot <laughs> um what was your thought process exactly okay so very first map you ever did you put a ton of global companies-esque type buildings directly into it how did you come up with that decision i love production okay uh, that's my gimmick you know i don't i put a few extra fruits like um i like to put produce in because it's realistic somewhat i mean you know carrots and stuff that stuff grows anywhere um you start adding in all those new fruits they become unrealistic for the maps that i make mm -hmm. but with production you can take a game crop change it into something else, change it into something else, change it into something else. Okay. Now I have acquired a new um, factory script for this map that has pallets. <laughs> so there's new factories coming on this map. Of course there um, is. <laughs> I'm going to, I hope to have sugar, flour, soda, pop or whatever you call it. And you're part of the world. Um, chocolate milk wow and then also ethanol chalky compost. milk really yeah anything to say about that i know you're gonna have some chalky milk on your farms come on dj i man i just <laughs> downloaded global company like two weeks ago <laughs> they're not global company nothing i use is global company they're ever. kind of built right into the map that's right they're fill type mover scripts 
it's and they're deep. actually built by a guy named GTX, yep. who he Ooh. actually built the original fill the stuff for Global Company, yep. and they actually kind of took it from him. So well, GTX he, is awesome because he does the one thing where I always say, I was like, why do I need to download this to download this? And exactly. then GTX was like, you don't oh, I could do this without doing this. Watch. And now he's got a whole lot of this. And he wrote a really nice little fill type mover script that eliminates global company. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't get the interface, but you still get all the factories. You still get all the production and it's a lot easier to use. Um, and it adds in pallets. So I'm still going to have the bulk production. I don't like pallets too much, <laughs> Yeah, but I, you know, I mean, I don't know how people feel about flour in the back of a truck or sugar you know what i mean or like soda that's got to be like in a 12 pack or, <laughs> or like could, i mean you could think about it like a um like you transport fuel or milk right Just right a tanker and see that's one thing i always wanted to like for georgetown was a tanker for the train that was the one thing lacking was the ability to transport liquids on the train but yeah, I'm going to keep mostly bulk production because I just, I think it makes them ab flow. Pallets, they've got to do something about the pallets physics. I mean, you just, you just can't. I mean, if you want to do it realistically and you as a forklift, it's, it's over with. It's, you know. <laughs> uh, you don't like launching pallets across the map with your forklifts? No? <laughs> no, you spend all that time and then it explodes on you or, you know, it, it's just silly. You know, it just doesn't work right. Yep. So most you're, you're both Georgetown and Hazard. Um, there's a downloading process for the map. I've always I've seen a, I've had a few more than a few comments that people always have problems with that. Now I think it's just reiterating that people download the map and then extract the files out of that zip folder. That is a bigger problem with uh, both your with with both both your maps. I guess people don't quite understand they have to take the files out and install them separately, not as just one file. I think that is just something to reiterate. I see a couple of comments in there right now, to be honest. Unfortunately, the the factory script it, it has to be loaded as a mod. Mm -hmm. So, I could just publish the mods and then put them in and say, you know, you need to download them separately, and then you could just get the mod and you know the map. But I just think it's more convenient to send I, everything at once. I totally agree. I think it just it, it's a, a bit of a mindset for a lot of people when they first move over to one of your maps because there's not a lot of maps that do that where they have required extra mods for the map to work properly. So just make sure we have everyone that uh, realizes that, I guess. Um, I'm assuming the new map coming out. Okay, we need the name first of all because I can't pronounce it. Okay. <laughs> it's Susquehanna Valley. Susquehanna Valley. See, look at this, yeah. guys. I, I can say it now. DJ's gone. He's out. <laughs> um, Susquehanna Valley. All right. I'm, I'll see if I can maybe the get Susquehanna it. River is a huge river. It runs from deep in upstate New York up by Cooperstown, okay. Oneana area, all the way down to um, the Chesapeake Bay. All right. Perfect. Well, you know what? I wouldn't... If I, if I see the spelling for Chesapeake, I don't think I can pronounce that either. I need to hear someone say it first as well because I don't say it properly. Well, it's hard to come up with... Um, names that when you make up a name it yeah. sounds made up it does you're right i agree you know what i mean fred's auto sales you may know a fred but it just sounds made up you know what i mean but what when you use you somebody it, it just it's more realistic <laughs> uh fair enough i agree with you 100 so 4x map correct yep um dj do you have any questions on the map itself i don't I think it's um, pretty obvious I don't have any questions. <laughs> I, I'm assuming... I, I'm um, excited to see it. Can we take a look? I, I do have one question for future... I know there's going to be a ton of people asking this at some point in time. I know you've had a ton already. What are your thoughts on moving over towards console maps? I could do the topography. Yep. I can do the roads. Like, I don't... I don't do that spline constructor, the roads that everybody's using. Mm -hmm. If you know, you can instantly see a map with that. The road looks flat. The line has no definition and it disappears as soon as you get a little distance on it. You know, you don't, it doesn't look like a road, especially in the distance draw. 
Um, so I use that road pack. I changed some textures in it. But like on this map, I've changed pretty much every texture I came across. All the barns have new wood textures. Every farm is matching um, right down to the roofs, um, the chicken coops, the barns, the sheds, the well house, the houses. They all have the same wood textures, the trim textures. Um, I really wanted to make it look authentic yep. in that respect. I didn't want it to look thrown together like a bunch of different buildings from a diff bunch of different places. So I wanted to give it that authentic look. So I changed everything. <laughs> it's been hours. Um, I built new stone walls. Oh boy. I have um, new stones and rocks. The waterfall I built on this map is spectacular. You, you, you're doing all your own texturing for the map as well. Like most people take some, like there's, there's some textures, but you're doing all your own textures for most of this map as well. Is that what I'm hearing? All my own building textures. And I built a bunch of buildings too. Um, and he works by himself. He's killing it. Oh, man. Uh, all right. I want, can we take a look at this nitro data? Are we, are we able to look at some of this map now? Sure. I'm dying here, dude. I need to see this. Because people have been staring at it for a well while, man. Yeah. Well, we're going to bring it up. A, a, nice, a nice Ford, by the way. I mean, it looked better as a Dodge, I think. But um, hey, I'm just saying. A GMC. So this is homies. the dealership. It's not what you're open. I've got a little <laughs> mini mall over there. This is the main freeway. You kind of teased this uh, a while back. Um, the main kind of freeway that kind of goes through the map at one point, right? And there's some intersections that kind of come into it, it looks like. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. I'll show her to you. Uh, I'm liking it. Oh, boy. Oh, you're going to show it all. Wow. I didn't know we were going to do this. Show it all. <laughs> uh, Guitar Nerd says you need a couple buildings from OK Use Mods on there. That's all. <laughs> Listen, I'm flirting at 3.7 gigs right now. Every day when I zip this map, I watch that gigs just hover right at 3.7. I'm okay. And I'm like, oh, baby. <laughs> I got to just clear off like 100 more K. Oh, so this man. is a city. Wow. All right. What, so what city is this uh, representative of? This is Susquehanna Valley, my idea. Okay, so this is not an actual city, though, per no. city, based off anything? Okay. I just wanted a city yep. um, with realistic cell points and yep. realistic views and a mall. I love that. What <laughs> I think I've seen some pictures of some of the shops. We've talked about some of the shops you've put in there. Uh, that's awesome. This I took love some it. time. Get out of here, former <laughs> cop. So are these all custom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on. Uh, I love times. it. I uh, built this entire building, yep. everything. Every all mm. the pictures were taken offline. Oh, and it's all nice. Like that's a Petco Petco storefront. You need a GME oh. in here. I need to get some stocks as well. We got AMC, we need GME as well, I think. I think the auto parts store came well, out one of the yeah. best. That's There's what? even a guy in behind the counter. <laughs> Did you take these uh own like Google Earth or something and put them in? Just offline. That's so cool. <laughs> we need to get a Walmart so we can get people at Walmart. Uh, um, isn't that? I thought had, is there a Walmart in here? I thought there was. <laughs> yeah, there's a Walmart. Oh, uh, we you got to put people of Walmart pictures for the website. It's not the Walmart. <laughs> oh god, I don't know how you do that, but I'd die. I <laughs> made a brand new Dollar General. Oh, that oh. means. Sweet. Uh, you know what? I'm so nice. It's nice to see because the, the old Dollar General has been used on every map. I mean, it's it works fine, but you got a whole separate one. Says that I, I even made an ice before. machine. <laughs> I made that whole thing. Hey, check that out. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Sorry, there's a little possibilities. But yeah, there is a there is a Walmart. Oh, there you go. DJ. And I retextured yeah. everything there. I and even you know, did this, the, this looks very similar out. to um. The Walmart it's an ATS team. model. I was gonna say American Truck Sim. This is exactly <laughs> the setup for all the uh, the main brand stores I'm I'm seeing right now. That's awesome. I love it. But like here, I got a picture offline and retextured the grass to match the map grass. 
as close as I could. <laughs> you know, the whole, the building's been retextured, the concrete, yep. everything's been redone. Oh, um, that's cool. Um, that's awesome. I'm not coming to console, Jacob. Unfortunately, this will be PC. It's a 4X. All right, that looks cool. Uh, so that's the the main, is that the main town site right there, I'm assuming? That's the main city. Yep. There's two towns and a city. And then there's the... It's got an entire highway system. It's just... I can't get it all in. <laughs> Throughout the whole map, man. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. So it's on huge. our right side, that is the the main dealer as well. Then I'm seeing right there. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm getting a little crazy. No, like, go, cra go crazy. We love it. This is the main dealer. Yep. It's a little laggy here. Yep. It's the models. It's not my building. Yep. That's a complete it's... custom building, except for the. Oh, these That's... are the pictures you sent me as well. Yeah. Like, there's a whole interior on this building, isn't that? Is that correct? Yep. Okay, so you can actually enter the dealership and oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> um, I hate the. I gotta turn that speed off. Yeah, it's fair enough. It's a little tough to, to drive it for sure. F eleven. Eleven is my jam. <laughs> <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> yeah, this shop is amazing. So <laughs> lost yeah, there's doors to. Get out the back. Yep. So if anybody wants to role play at the tractor dealership, changing out equipment, I don't they know can bring tractors right in, go all the way through the back. Um, repair triggers here. Oh, whole interior. Cool. And this is all, this is the building from the straw harvest mod, oh. um, but I retextured it. Okay. I've yeah, got I this. I made this texture from a blue metal that I found. It's a little bit wonky, but it's got a normal map on it. There's Excuse a bit of a sheen to it. You're right. Okay. But it's the models usually at these track dealer dealerships that really, yep. I mean, these, there's nothing. The way I kept frame rates down is like this mini mall. There's less polys in this entire mini mall than there is in a dumpster. <laughs> there's uh, I, I mean you got a planet fitness there so i'm sure there's I, a dumpster around there somewhere i think there's 600 polys in that entire building it's because it's just a couple of decals and a, and some panels that's, in, that's insane for for reference how many uh how many are normally in like a base model tractor in the game or something like that that barracuda or that cuda sitting right there yeah is eight hundred and sixty-two thousand four hundred and sixty-nine thousand pounds. Yeah, so um, massive. <laughs> I give you an idea. A John Deere tractor model, millions. Um, I've got one model. Well, I've got a diner model that's around five hundred thousand, but it's all the little um, interior stuff. Anything with curves bar stools chairs um intricate decals really put the polys up oh, you can sling out square buildings that are just a wall like this yep. that whole wall is 12 polys okay. but i bought two really high-end textures for it. the white brick and then the stone that's that's part of the stone wall texture that i put together I yep. put it on a bunch of foundations. <laughs> so all my, yeah. all the houses and all my farms have matching foundations to the barns, to the sheds, um, to the walls that are around it. I really want him to feel. I'll show well, you one. I yeah, I was gonna say like most most buildings you see they just kind of go down to the ground. There's no foundation. I mean, it still represents a building, but there's no attention to detail there for sure. Um, <laughs> so we've got two cities, two town or one city, one town. I, I, that's my understanding. Two right? towns. Okay. One how many city? How many farms we have that are kind of designated as farms on the map? There is going to be four built, okay. and they're going to be custom and not sellable, not removable. 
Okay. Because there's no sense in it because you're not going to find a place where it's going to go back there. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I mean, I've got little areas like this around the map, too, that are going to be, I'll leave for you to find. There's little interesting things in there. You know, I like that. Um, little Easter eggs hidden around and little <laughs> things to find. I love, I, I, I love when map, uh, map makers put Easter eggs in. I don't know. There's, was, who was the first? Was it Alien GM kind of the first one to start doing that? DJ, do you remember? Starting to put uh, like just little like Easter eggs around the farms on some of the maps. Oh, I mean, Jim's been doing stuff like that all the time. Some people's Easter eggs are different than others. So, like, somebody may put like a a road sign, be like, "Oh, that's cool," and somebody puts like you know a, a, a crash a workable UFO. something in, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, something that's so. Okay. Alien Jim's definitely one of the one of the best, if not the best, when it comes to doing neat little stuff like that. So this is Consoles. one of the farms, um, the, really the main one I worked on. Mm -hmm. um, so my concept's going to be, the, the map starts, you know, equipment, you get nothing. I'm sorry, look at that barn. That is awesome. <laughs> you get, awesome. It's, it's pretty sexy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I Pretty love that. that great, man. That is a great, uh, that is an absolutely amazing part. Oh, it's even got a fan in it, too. Look at that. That is There's, so sweet. The fans are animated with sound. Um, of course. I man. love that. That <laughs> I made that whole foundation, real windows. It's all, <laughs> those are all wide board windows to match, you know, like the old style, like the wide windows would be. It's got a whole interior milk house and everything. Yep. But I went through everything and, I mean, the chicken house matches, the sheds match. This one's going to be a work a shed. Bonus. Nice. Is there de what do you have inside there? It's you a detailed, detailed workshop. Room? It's not just an empty building. Of course not. It's got to have, it's got to have stuff to make it look lived in. Um, dude, crazy. All right. <laughs> and then the uh, house I retextured, matched the foundation and all. Yep. Yeah, see, look and at that. That's crazy. Even, now, that's from that SCS pack. Okay. But I retextured it, um, put my own foundation on it, put my own or put matching shingles that match the garage here. Yep. And then the garage has an interior with workshop in it. That's awesome. There's so much detail, as always, man. Um, and this is so. This is one of four of, of the main farms. Is this the main? So if you get new farmer mode, is this the farm you get? So and when you start new farmer mode, you're going to get one tiny little piece of land in the city. There's a house that you own. Okay. Yep. Yep. The concept is you've been locked up, locked down, and laid off. You've been staring out your back deck over this beautiful valley for all these years. You've got a crazy neighbor that does everything that you do. You've had enough. You can either start working for other work or farmers and start building up, or you can sell the land. Now I adjusted the land. I raised the land price up to compensate. So it equals the price of you can you'll have the ability to buy two of those farms that are on the map um one you'll buy and have extra money and one you can buy and it'll pretty much take all your money i absolutely love this you're putting a storyline this is what i want i want a storyline into building your farm like it's not just yeah here, here you have your farm you did this a little bit with hazard uh or in george yeah no hazard um and i love this idea man this is fantastic i can't wait to see this this is so cool <laughs> it's I hate talking about it because I really don't. I'm not one of those people. I don't like to be. And I don't. I'm not here to step on toes. I'm not here to take anybody's thunder. I started playing this game because I got ran over in a stampede in North Dakota, man. Okay. <laughs> I hit a rock on a four wheeler. I woke up with cows all around me, hoof prints on me, and spent a month in the hospital. So I, you know, after that, I didn't know what to do. So I came across this game and I just found American maps lacking. They just, they didn't look like this. I mean, 
this is what I see when I go drive around my area. And it's not Iowa. It's not anybody else's area. It's my area. Yep. And that's what I know. And, you know, you got to stick with what you know. <laughs> but there's a lot. When I hear people bash on GE, I have no training people. Nothing. Okay. I hate computers. <laughs> I hate phones. When my wife tells me our cell phone plan is up, we get in the biggest fight. I hide my phone. I'm like, no, I don't want to switch. <laughs> it's a pain. <laughs> but I, I wanted to accomplish this. I wanted to, I set a goal for me. I wanted to show my kids that I could do something like this and step into a world that's way out of your comfort zone and just take a chance. I mean, DJ knows, Clutch knows, I mean, how many times do you guys, oh, you're a YouTuber, you know, oh, oh yeah, you know what, <laughs> screw you, dude. I have to always start it with, I'm a YouTuber, but like an actual real one. Keep mowing <laughs> lawns for five <laughs> bucks an hour. Okay, tell me what. I mean, you know, I don't care what anybody does to make a living. I don't care. Why? When you watch Grant's video the other day, he seemed apologetic for yeah. how he had made his money. Okay. Whether you like Bitcoin, whether you like how he made his money, never apologize for taking your ideas and making money off them. If it's your idea and you're not stealing someone else's work without yeah. credit, take it, run with it, work with it. Because no one else is going to do it for you. And no, and if you give somebody else your ideas, it's gone. Mm -hmm. They're going to do it now. Yep. Yep, exactly. Let's do it. Rock and roll, baby. Let's go. I am. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed so far. Um, so it, I don't even know what to ask as far as the, the the farms go, man. These farms look incredible as always. I think uh, like Georgetown, how many was it? Eight in total on Georgetown or is it seven? There was. And I think that that's part of it. The yeah. large number of animal areas. Yeah. Um, like here. What I tried to do here, I'm sure people recognize this barn, except that I retextured the whole thing. I matched the roof, the wood siding, uh, okay. put working doors on it. Yeah. Now, this will be a horse pen and a sheep pen oh, built wow. together. Nice. Um, but it's hard to make it a placeable because you can't put those two placeables together. So the horse pen has to come in and the sheep pen has to come in. So it's hard. So I usually just place it on the map. That's okay. why I built this as custom. Now I have three kind of rustic farms and then there's a large factory farm down here on the valley floor. Okay. And then there's the entire side of the valley over there. It's all wide open. No farms. Okay. It's got big, wide, placeable spaces open fields um it's detailed you know and decorated but it's not there's no buildings there's nothing over there people can go crazy and so one thing i did do was an open, um an open lane like i know in georgetown when we had one spot was kind of designed for if you want to build your own farm here's a spot for you to do that is that have that at all in this one so what i did here was i built there's a big placeable spot over there and then there's I've got little spots spread out around the map that are for sale. Um, down in this town, okay. there's an old factory yep. that you can buy. Okay. And once you buy it, you'll be able to make it disappear and it'll be a blank area. Oh. And that's down in this town here. Um, I don't want to show it yet. There's some no, stuff. Don't, it's all good. If you're, if you don't want to leave that alone, that's all good. <laughs> there's some really cool stuff for that town. I built new seed factories and there's some pretty rustic looking factories down there. I want to save. Nice. Um, I rebuilt all my gas stations. They're all realistic looking rabbitos and spread out all over. All right. I am stoked. This is, this is looking good. So, what percentage done do you think we are right now? Yeah, if you had to stab a guess, I mean, it looks like it's pretty good for the most part. Everything we're looking at right now looks like there's detail. That goes done. Yeah. Uh, the vision, the visual stuff's all done. I'm just touching up, cleaning up. Yep. All, all the forests are in. Okay. Um, 
I got farmlands all painted, so I mean, ninety percent done. Nice. The scripting should go okay. See, we when you make a map, I want to give you guys a deadline. I do. No. I want it out, and not just oh yeah, I want to see everybody play my map. This is a pain in the butt. This is, <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not going to pull any punches here, folks. I started this map the day I told Clutch on one of his streams I started a map. That was the day I started it. That was yep. three months ago. I've worked 16 hours a day, seven days a week on this map. I've hibernated this winter. It's been nasty in upstate New York, so that's what I've done. I told my family I was going in, and I wasn't coming out till it was done. And it's getting to that that finish point that where you're I can't do it anymore. I can't I gotta play it. I gotta get it out and be done with it. And so that's you know, we want to, but like last night I was just painting farmlands and you never ever hit the subtract button when you're painting farmlands. Because if you subtract that paint color and don't get every pixel back, you get a pixel error. And that pixel error can be under a building, under a tree, any anything, they're impossible to find. I spent eight hours painting the map yesterday to open this stupid thing and have a pixel error hit me. And I'm like, oh, I gotta repaint this entire dang thing again. I'm like, no. My wife's like, she sees the look in my eyes and I'm like, <laughs> and I figured it out though, I just, I took the cursor and made it to 500 meters and I just started chunking out the map until I, the pixel error disappeared. Yep. And then I knew it was in that general area. And then I just repainted the fields in that area. So luckily it only took me like three hours to fix, but those are the errors that hit you, you know, or you, you, you work on a model. GE has this habit of, killing textures um you can make a model in ge on your map like say you want to make a bridge you don't have to go get a bridge from a map you can make a primitive cube put a texture on it make a concrete pad put some walls on it and you've got a simple bridge but if you don't save that bridge down and export it out and then bring it back in the map yep it'll change like you all of a sudden be flying through the map just looking at it and all your fences will have turned to concrete or your roads will be dirt or they'll look like a fence or you know you'll go to a building and the texture is completely gone or a roof is gone or the other night i just went to reset a scaling the size lock it on a roof and it locked like the roofs on like six buildings flew off the buildings shot across the map <laughs> and I had to go find the stupid things, bring them all back in. <laughs> and I'm like, it was like two hours to fix the stupid roof. Cause I just wanted oh, to man. lock that stuff in, you know, but I wanted to be, when I opened Georgetown, I had some errors and it was testing and I don't want that. And I yep. want to, you know, so I'm, I'm using, the only new script I'm using is that palette edition script. And it's a really simple script. Okay. And I just wanted to use it for a little change and to add some factories. I think the factories add a lot. They These maps take a long time. And when they do, and you see a lot of folks hop on them for like a week or so, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, I agree. You folks are brutal. <laughs> I mean, you guys are brutal. There's so many maps, though. That's the problem. <laughs> there uh, is. A and good question here for you. Other way. What about, uh, is there any um, different paintables on this, like shrubs, flowers, anything like that? Or are you staying more with the generic uh, kind of what we know and love? No, pretty much all in-game stuff. Okay. Those textures start to add up. Yep. I, this maps, I really went out with the high-end textures on buildings. Yep. Um, there's no, that I know of, um, like, you know, FS 15 or 17 buildings where they've got yep. that weird look. And if there is, I, I took the shaders off and, you know, killed the, the different gloss maps or whatever that made them look that way. Okay. Changed. Um, 
I made a Hershey's factory, put all brick factories. That's all brick. Looks like a real Hershey's factory. It's glorious. That's where you're going to be able to take your milk and get chocolate milk. Chalky milk. Um, I'm in. There's an Adirondack soda company. If you're from the Northeast, you know who Adirondack soda is. <laughs> Minimum specs for the map. <laughs> I, I, I think you're going to need to, something still my, pretty decent. I, my I, computer. I think no <laughs> NPCs are still going to struggle. I'm, I'm I gonna... have been testing the map on my wife's laptop. It's a uh, NVO. E N V O O. It's a Walmart special. It's it's a gaming laptop I got for her when she started working from home. I figured if I'm going to get her a laptop, I might as well get something that I could at least use a little bit in case you know the power was out. And it runs okay on that. I mean, no. I'm getting. The city does drag you. The city doesn't drag you down. There's an area I was showing DJ this before the stream. Yep. And if there's any mappers listening and you have any tips, I got a spot that I just can't find. <laughs> it's if you, the way the map is, you'll be looking down the throat of the map on different occasions. And when you really look down, you're really, you're bringing everything in and like trees are the biggest thing. Georgetown was a killer on trees because it's just too many trees. I know. Yep. Um, but I love them. But that's what New York looks like. Mm -hmm. Now this map, I thinned the forest out considerably, um, except for the edges. Yep. Um, in an attempt to kind of keep that under control. But it's the different trees, like birch trees are really high FPS draws. The yep. in-game pine trees, those wonky curvy things, are real high FPS. Yep. That's why everybody uses nothing but spruce trees. Like a regular, the spruce number four that you see on every map, I think it's 182 polys. I mean, you can fill that thing all day long, and it's nothing. I mean, it hardly exists. So, um, But when you get the different trees, they get crazy. Got a question here about seasons. Uh, usually, you have custom geos. And for this map, I think so. Okay. It's going to be similar, probably much to Georgetown. It's the same area. Yep. But I don't, I don't like to take choices away. So I don't make hard, you know, hard geos, or I don't take cotton out or sugar cane. I mean, it's your game. If you want to grow sugar cane on my map, go yep. for it. I'm not going to take it out. I'm not going to tell you you can't grow it. And um, Maze I've, Plus? Have you had a chance to look no, at that? No, okay. no, not Maze Plus. I mean, you can add it in. I've never even looked at it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know it's popular. There's just so much. So many of these mods come out, and they're like, you've got to update your map, and you've got yep. to change your map. And then that requires a new game save. And that's, you know, I just I don't like doing that. Plus, when you start adding in all that stuff, it becomes, okay, now I've got to do this, and now I've got to add this, and now I've got to change this, and then that changes this because the building has to adapt. Because I don't like a, I don't like pulling in an unrealistic sell point, you know, yep. something that doesn't look right. You know, I mean, you're going to have them, I mean, a little bit. But if, if it's something that needs a loading dock, I like a loading dock. If it's a granary, it's going to look like a granary. Um, so... You have to be like the manure mod. Yep. You know, I don't want to just slap it on there. But I put in, I did raise it up the a height type, so you'll be able to do all the straw harvest and there'll be all the extra that stuff. Perfect. And you can add in that, that. And like I said, none of my factories are global. So, but you can add global. Um, Excellent. I don't think I have anything else on this map, man. This I'm I'm excited. So you're you're 95, 90, 95 percent complete right now. Looks like you got some splines still to take care of, and some. What was you said something else to take care of still? Um, yeah, just clean up stuff, and, and then month, uh, this is kind of a rough guesstimate. Then, do we dare say that? I'm hoping to send it to testers in a week. Wow. Ooh, I was kind of broken. You still there? 
I think we lost Nitro. Nitro. Right. There? Ah, uh, there yeah. we go. You're back. You're back. You're back. We thought we lost you. Yeah. I'd say I'm 95. <laughs> I mean, probably a week to get to testers and okay. then, you know, just to have them run through. But I've really kind of controlled this map as I went, you know, really watched placement of stuff and yep. tried to keep floaters. And I wanted this one to look realistic. I want you to feel like you're on a Sunday drive with dad, you know, and that's, and I want, it's, it's like two different worlds when you drive, you know, you, you leave the countryside and you head out into the city. And um, if you go to sell points out in the countryside, the the prices are reduced yep. to cover expenses because somebody has to haul it to the city. So if you don't haul it, you're going to get less for it. And if you go to the outside the city to buy, you know, lime and stuff you're going to pay more for it yeah and if you go into the city into the main hubs you're going to get discounts at it Sweet. um cool. you know stuff like that um and then i've got a custom potato factory and sugar beet factory that are just pretty cool <laughs> they're really you've cool had, you've had those in the last couple of maps as well but I, I, is it different in this map oh yeah of course it is of course it is it's always different. they're ats models that I retextured completely. I've got working beat uh, movers, pilers. I've got pilers. I've got a simulated potato washer you're going to empty into. Um, there's going to be a pig food factory. The ethanol factory is going to have um, corn syrup production in it as well. Boy. I've rebuilt an entire new ethanol factory. Or yeah, there's all sorts of models, <laughs> all sorts of stuff hidden. Oh man! Um, so, what's the name again? Sus Sus Susquehanna Valley. Susquehanna Valley. I'll get that. I, I promise. I'll get that eventually. I, I promise. I'm gonna work on it. Maybe not. <laughs> um, you're so good to me, man. I got to show you one more thing that I oh, kind of made. One more thing. All right, let's go. Just, one more thing just, we'll just for you. Oh. I like. Well, it's kind of just for you. I, I mean, showed DJ use, a little while ago. We did use the shop from Georgetown for the longest time. It's inspired kind of that <laughs> and kind of my error and kind of me being an old guy that kind of loves old stuff and <laughs> old cars. And I don't think we need a star dealership. We do not need a star, star dealership. That's for sure. <laughs> so hey, this is my recreation crazy. of Arnold's Diner from the oh, show boy. Happy Days. Uh, you guys don't have my sound on, right? Game sound? Um, uh, unless you're sitting it through your microphone. No. no. Yeah, no. no so sound. it's got a complete interior. Oh, boy. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of like the speed shop. I like that. That's fantastic. It's got a oh, whole interior. <laughs> the floor took me three days. Three days in a photo editor to build that floor. It was so hard. It I that I think there was a dozen makings of that to make that floor work. Because if you get it just a little bit off, it would get this really crazy effect. Um, everything in here is dynamic. I made Budweiser bottles, Heineken bottles, <laughs> Rolling Rock bottles, Coke bottles, takeout boxes. There's a working jukebox. Um, <laughs> the stools are dynamic. You can pick up everything. Everything works. There's a full kitchen, um, a walk-in cooler, sink. I made a stainless steel sink. The counters are made from a black stainless steel texture I made. So much beveled better. edges and everything. <laughs> this model took me forever. <laughs> it's it's just awesome. And how you know did, what? How long did it take you to build this building, do you think? Like to get everything done? This building was a week. So stupid. It was just so stupid. You get sucked into it, I'm sure. Uh, and for all you haters out there, suck it. Because it's awesome. It's awesome. Uh, and if you ask why, just because I, I and I built the walls, everything here. This is all built custom. Um the parts, some of the parts from the interior came from that old diner that was on Hazard County. But everything else I built just because I could, and it's awesome. And why not? If you want to get gas, why not get it at Arnold's? 
<laughs> and that's all. Um, so much deep. Uh, did you get into the tractor? Really? Yeah. It's that's yeah. your starting tractor. It's in the shop. <laughs> okay. And there's just so much stuff. Your tractors are going to be leased at the beginning. Um, no equipment. You're going to work on this one. Oh, but man. I'm going to, I raised, I think I jacked the price of the starting property up by like 57 times the normal value to get it to equal out. Okay. So you'll end up with, it'll be commensurate. I just, I'm not going to choose a whole list of starting equipment that everybody sells. Yep. So that that's time consuming. It adds in, I've got to drive at all places, park at places, you know, do all that. It's, you know, it's a pain. So just have everybody sell it. So I'm going to lease a couple tractors. You don't get any money for them. They're not, you know, if you want to get rid of them, they won't cost you anything, but they'll be there if you want to start using them and you'll be able to buy a farm. And there's yep. another farm that will probably be the starting choice, but you can't see that yet because that's a gift for you, Clutch. There's a, <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's a, something on the barn over there that's just for you. All right, well, we'll, we'll hold that for uh, a few weeks until this is ready to release. But there are, I've put graffiti panels on the buildings in the city, so there'll be things to cool to check out. Um, just graffiti I got offline, um, all over the place. You know, different things. Dude, um, I can't wait to play this. I'm excited. Uh, so hopefully next few weeks we'll start seeing uh, something. Hopefully it goes to testers without too many issues. And uh, I'd love to have it out in two weeks. That would, that, be, that would be my goal. So there you go, folks. Hopefully two weeks. I know we talked, um, I think maybe about a month ago, late February, early March. And it looks like you're on schedule right now. So that's awesome. Uh, fingers, uh, fingers crossed, man. Keep on working away. This is fantastic. Um, next you. question. So what's the next map then? Well... I kind of got away from the console question conveniently. Yep. Screwed yep. it. Yeah. You don't want to talk about that anymore, or do you want to talk about that? I more? would love to make one. Okay. But I don't know how boring it would be. Ooh. I, I, it's just, it's hard. I, and it's not anything against console. It's just their, re, their restrictions. I have to use their textures. Yep. And some of their textures are difficult to work with. They're not, like when I say I remade a texture here, I can pop an image offline, overlay it on an existing texture, and make a new texture. Yep. When you work with textures, they have texture arrays. You have to know what you're doing. I don't have the training on some of their buildings. So I can work with a lot of the stuff, but you can't change a lot of it. You can't. So you end up with the same buildings. So I could get the topography, the fencing, the roads some of the the look and the feel of a map of mine and i honestly have a console map that's about 30 percent. the roads are done the topo is pretty much done but i hit a wall because i just didn't know where to go from there i didn't know it was it was supposed to be based around my hometown and a youtuber that i know from my hometown he's just a little tiny old family farm and I just couldn't get the look of the barns and the houses and buildings that I wanted. And, it was, and it, if it wasn't going to be right, I wasn't going to do it. But with console, it's, I mean, Kaz can tell everybody, look at what Kaz went through. I mean, he had to completely change his maps down, put all base game buildings and so forth on it. And that's unfortunate. I mean, I know all the restrictions. I, you know, we don't need to go into the whole console thing. Mm -hmm. It's it's unfortunate that they won't recognize that there's some games that need extra and some that don't. I mean, you know, you can't almost play Farming Simulator without a lot of that stuff. And especially when you got, we can throw maps at you all day long, but they're going to eventually all start to look the same. We agree. Well, fortunately, well, it does seem like we're getting towards the end of the Farm Sim 19 lifespan if all, you know, keys point in the right direction. Hopefully they do. I hope they don't change it a lot, I'll be honest with you, because guys like me, I mean, if they went real crazy, we're out. I mean, I can't get the training to step into a whole new technology. This has been a two-year study thing i mean since i started hazard county this has been 
me working with my buddy CCS, um, who made Nebraska lands. I mean, he's amazing map maker and just an amazing guy. He just, he's always willing to answer your questions. He's nice about it. He's not condescending. Um, a lot of times if you ask questions on like the FSUK boards, people are mean about it. They're snobby, you know, and there's, you know, you ask a question twice and you get nasty answer. It's like, I just want to verify, you know, I, I don't, it, it's hard. It's, it scares you. You don't want to, you want to be embarrassed. You don't want to, you know, just asking a question. So, and I don't want to feel that way on a forum. Yeah. Fair, Fair enough. enough. Ooh, look at that. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Or be a Choco Milk. Nothing, DJ? Nothing? No. All right. Uh, well, Nitro, I think uh, we've looked at that everything we could look at for now, but I, I'm curious to see where you go from here. Can't wait to see this map in, what, two weeks, hopefully? Fingers crossed. Hopefully, yep. Um, I'll have to give that a shot for sure. You know, I think I've run 80 episodes on Georgetown, so um, I may I may play this one a little bit as well. It might happen. It just might. Uh, just a little bit. <laughs> dude, thanks so much for hanging out with us today, man. I appreciate Thank you so you much for having me. I'm sorry I talk so long. No, this is why we wanted to chat with you about all the stuff you do. You'd give us an insight into your map making and uh, where you've gone, where you're going to. Uh, like I said, oh yeah, well, hopefully it stays the same for you. Like I, I would love to see whatever the next farm sim game is. Hopefully you can just carry on with this. Cause... I would just like to say to all the map makers out there, TNT and MRG, let's work together, you guys. Let's not work against each other. Let's share. You know, if you guys need anything, I've got some really great textures. I, you can have anything. Once this map comes, rip it, rape it, steal it whatever you want inside this map i can guarantee anyone there are tools to make this map every building the parts the pieces there are planks there are pads there are walls shapes roofs all anything you can need you know what i mean change the textures don't be afraid to push the boundaries in this game because you can really make this game something special the map Giants could do way better on the maps. If I can do this, they could do way better. Uh, they could give it to us. So, I, I mean, just I think we should share and work together. I don't know, maybe start a. I was thinking starting a Discord page or something for map makers. Yep. Just something so that if it's three o'clock in the morning and you just opened your game and there's an error and you're crying. And you just want someone to say, dude, what happened? And you just need to be talked down off the edge. There might be somebody there because it helps. What did I break this time? Yeah, it happens, man. It's it's heartbreaking because there's on Hazard Time County, once I lost the whole map, just the whole thing. Just I changed something in the i3D and it was gone. It was it just like, gone. It looks like he and got it, a believer in Kaz right there. Kaz wants in. He wants to know where to sign up. Yeah. Because Kaz has got, I don't know how to get a map on console. You know, I've heard, but I like to make my maps. I don't, I like to be restricted, man. I love the idea of uh, you guys working together. I, I know I've talked to several of you in the past about this. By all means, if I can help in any way, shape, or form, it's whatever I can do. Cool. Um, I am here to help you guys. I might work on that. Reach Maybe out start us. a Discord page for something because yeah. it'd um, just be so nice to just have that comfort factor. Yeah. For those that are willing to work together, for sure. Um, well, cheers to that, my friend. Uh, Thank DJ you, everyone. Uh, do we have any questions? Thank you so much for the support, too. too. Uh, uh, but, you made an old guy in upstate New York. <laughs> kind of happy. It's kind of nice. Oh, man. It's taken a, it's taken fifty years to come up with something that I can do to make this many people happy, and it really does. It makes you smile. Cheers, makes man. you feel good. That's, <laughs> that's kind of why I do it. So, just keep awesome. loving them and keep supporting everybody that does. These two guys right here, you guys, you guys rock. You, you guys are rock stars. Map. That's what we do. That's the difference. So you try to fix them after we break them. It yeah, or, uh, but when I, I broke something else. How did I do this? Why is this I can make them, but <laughs> what you guys do with them when you show them off is is crazy cool. You guys make some killer videos. Cheers, I'm so friend. impressed. 
by both of you. <laughs> and just on a personal note, watching a couple of younger guys like you go out of the box to make it in this world and take care of you and your kids, kudos. You rock out, guys. <laughs> Don't let anybody stop you. Don't let anybody out there tell anybody else you can't do it. Just push Good forward point. because it can be done. Oh, man. I think uh, I don't know what else to say after that other than thanks, man. Cheers to you. I think uh, we can probably wrap things up a little bit. Um, uh, we cheers, cheers coming up. Did you want to go through anything else on this list there, DJ, or should we just go through talking points? The we didn't hit anything today. No. <laughs> we interviewed. What's this going to happen when you talk? I your dad was the man. Oh, man. Um, we, did, we, we had a couple things to hit. Um, let's see. Uh, two, two, um, two. Uh, definitely the top stories. Uh, so there were a couple questions this week about TNT modding. We get it. The equipment's gone. I miss it. You miss it. He, she, we misses it. Everybody misses uh, it. However, in order for TNT to get his maps back on the mod hub and release new ones, he had three map updates and one new map in five days. Insane. Uh, unfortunately, we had to give up something. But you don't have to give up those things on the updates if you don't want to. I think Bucks County is the only one that I would be comfortable giving up those things. Blue Mountain Valley and especially Eureka Farm. Eureka Farms is literally the mods. So, yeah. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Millennial Farmer Map is in testing for consoles right now. No. Where, where did that no, come from? No. I don't understand. There's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Okay, no, no, not only that, and then Chellington releases today? No, no, Chellington didn't release today. It was released like a couple days well, ago. A couple days ago, but still, like, <laughs> what? What is going yeah. on this week? Chellington released this week. Um, I am so lost. The LC, what What else? It was not a whole lot. Oh, um, world premiere? It's out now, which is funny enough. We don't have the first look at this anymore. <laughs> Where is this? Where is it? Where is it? What's that? Pachunk, show my oh, screen. Yeah, no, yeah, show your screen. Okay. Uh, A2 Studio is working on a long nose. I can't wait. Yeah. Long nose. Uh, he's, yes, please. He's probably already posted about this. I should definitely look and see what he's posted. Let's just go in here and hit refresh over real quick and see what his post says. Yeah, nine minutes ago. It says, I can't, I just can't stay quiet. <laughs> Started something <laughs> like that. Oh, David! Fantastic man. He's so long nose. Good. They're so long good. nose there. Um, stuff. Uh, mower. Johnny mower. mower is getting. I don't know. It's got a mower deck now. So you still, TL, well, you still on David's page with the uh, the camper? That's not a camper. Oh, the camper that we're not camper. supposed to say the word camper about. Yeah, it's not a camper, but it is a camper. It is a camper, but it's yeah. not. It's not a camper. Yeah, but it is a camper. Also, the TLX thirty five hundred is a real thing. What did I just click? Oh boy! I'm not sending you money. Get away from here! His merch store. Yeah, I was about to say that wasn't a picture. That was a merch store. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you got some cool stuff there. Um, Is this about you building another computer? Oh, <laughs> yeah, but I can't. My my gaming laptop is killing me right now, man. It keeps overheating and turning off. I might have a couple 4K cameras plugged into it though. Okay, well, send it to me. I'll take. I'll use it. No, I'm gonna use it, just not for that. I'm. A, okay. It's. It's a personal like. I'm gonna have fun. Oh, look at me. So you're no, gonna build a new PC again? I, yeah, the parts are in the floor in there right now. Okay. But I'm. I'm waiting on the AIO because it was back ordered. There was what one left, and I hit order. It said arriving on Friday. I bought it on Monday, and then this morning, even last night, it was like arriving tomorrow by 10 p.m. Ridiculous. And. uh <laughs> and then, nope. And then I got a message this morning. There's been a, a problem with your uh, thing, and suppose er, and and uh, looks like it's going to be delayed. I know you can. You can't get it here today, but today <laughs> in a day day. Uh -uh. In a day day. So so now it says it may be here by Sunday. It's like, <laughs> what am I going to do? Turn my computer on and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Please do it. It's impossible. I'll blow it up. It's an i7-10700K. It was, it was hard to get a hold of. 
Um, you've got another video out today on the second channel. I no, think. no, I'm gonna stream. Well, I had one earlier today. It's like 9 a.m. every day your time, um, or 11 a.m. Instead of been chatting with a friend of mine, I was chatting with a friend of yours, formal pickle. Yeah, yeah you guys, go check it out. You guys want to learn all of his secrets, every single one of his secrets. Um, Second check chat, DJ Go Ham Gear. I always want to say DJ Gear. Why do I always get that mixed up? If you search DJ Gear, you're not gonna find it, but I am in the search results. You just uh, you you have to go for a while because you're gonna see a lot of dudes going. Wicked, wicked. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's a whole different channel from you. That's a different it's, one. It's a different thing, but I did put those in my li in my links just in case because one day I want people to be like, you know what? Here's about DJ Gear. <laughs> DJ Gear. <laughs> what is this? Um, That's what I want. What is the last talking point you put down here? DJ likes global companies now? No, how does DJ like global companies? No, no, no. I'm reading that DJ likes global companies now. I don't read the how part. So DJ likes global companies is what I'm reading there. You're reading the wrong thing. No, it reads, it reads totally fine to me. I think hey. DJ, that's you guys heard it here first. DJ Goham likes global companies now. It's now a thing. So. You done? You done? No, I'm never done. done? No, I'm never really done. You want to you want to throw a couple of your mama jokes out? No, I don't think we'll save those for. I think Kbot's got some mama jokes coming later. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out for everybody in stream. Speaking of which, we'll be streaming later on tonight on my channel. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing yet. We'll figure out something. We'll break something. I'm sure. There you go. So we'll make sure you guys stick around for that. Be streaming uh, for channel members. Hopefully, if my laptop doesn't blow up trying to do it, uh, we'll be streaming with channel members <laughs> here. Uh, uh, as soon as I can eat some dinner, we'll get started and. Um, I have new videos coming out this weekend on Second Channel. Very excited about that. And, uh, and then uh, channel member PlayStation stream tomorrow on the new uh, new map. Really Sweetness. excited about that. And the last thing we have is DJ is going to start using Courseplay next is what I have. So we're going to have to work. You know, work I think it's that. funny. I've had Courseplay installed for over a year. No, wait. That's follow me. Nah, well, Courseplay totally gets Totally different. Totally different. Here, let's count the four together. Boy. One, two... Three horse socks. Not doing it. No, not doing it. It's out. <laughs> get out of here. Get you. You give it your power. Am I gonna use? <laughs> uh, funny enough, Nitrado <laughs> hasn't contacted me and been like, "Hey, we heard you were talking smack to a couple hundred people." Um, yeah, I let Nitrado have it. I let them have it. Bad. Um, Glad uh, nice work on the Homer, by yeah. the way. Yeah. And I told uh, told G Portal immediately after I was like, "So I did this in my stream the other day. Uh, <laughs> promise I won't do it to you." Crazy G Portal Just, all the way. Link in the description for G Portal, by the way. But, uh, well, oh, not man. mine. Not, it's it's DJ Goham Gaming. Just use that one. You don't have to use whatever clutches is. You can use but, mine. Mine's right in the description. Go click down there. It's fine. Yeah, but mine you got to work for it. You feel good about yourself. Mine at all. You just have to click a button and you're good to go. <laughs> He's still oh, laughing. <laughs> All right, that's all I got. That's all the things that I know in my head right now. I may know something else tomorrow, but we'll have to figure out what that is tomorrow morning. On uh, welcome, new members. Cheers to all the donos in there. I don't think we had any questions. I knew GJ Global Companies would be converted. William says, "Yeah, he's working on it. We're working on it." And Hayden's getting some brown waters ready. I'm not. Um, I'm not doing anything crazy. All I'm doing is it's installed, and I'm using the Place Anywhere function of it. Uh, whatever. I'm not even helping my horses. We're gonna. We'll fix that. We will fix that. Uh, thanks again, Nitro, for hanging out with us. Um, maybe next week we'll be back with regular, more different mods. I think we'll be on Goham's channel next week. Probably Saturday, Saturday, it sounds Saturday. like. I have to double check my schedule. I think, you know what? I think next week we can do Friday again. I think we can do Friday. Work. And then our channel member uh, PC stream should be next week. So, Sweet. skis. All right, my friend. Yeet. Oh. Let's wrap her up. Cheers to everyone. Thank you guys so much for hanging out uh, for the last hour and a bit here. Yee! We overdid the time, but it happens every week. It was awesome getting to talk to Nitro Dad today. Even though I didn't say much, I was watching. It's, uh, <laughs> it's weird to see DJ quiet, but it's good. I like it. I ran out of G Fuel. All my, all my energy is gone. <laughs> uh, thanks again for hanging out, everybody. We will see you next week or maybe tonight if you're hanging out with me later tonight. Cheers, everybody. Or tomorrow. Hey, DJ, you anything else to say? Nitro? Um, if you're going to get a G Portal account, use my code instead of clutches. Oh, don't, use, don't use this account. <laughs> 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 Love you guys. We'll see y'all later. Cheers, everybody. Peace out, old boys. <laughs>
Uh, there's something about this. I just noticed there's only one dude down there. The other guy's still with the tractor. Are we supposed to be like one or the other guy? I don't know. Does it matter? We're just going to end broadcast. Y'all have a good one.